Mm-hmm. Um, so we we risk at all that, say that it favors everyone. So tend to mix the like, time zones, but if we do one that favors our, our mothers week, then um, the, the next week we change it. Um, as a start, we could um, just go off and then um, pull up anything we can find. You know, with regards to literature that is available, that can help us to actually understand um, the uh, the situation on Wikimedia Commons, particularly, mm. like I said, with regards to gender and then cultural diversity. So I think that would be the first task that um, we can reconvene in the next mm. meeting and then look at what we've all been able to gather. Um, Ideally, you know, just um, go online and see what you can find, and then we can put them in the same document. Um, mm-hmm. Then we can have a look at it at our next meeting, and then we can start from there. I think that the, the, um, that's the ideal starting point for any research is to, <laughs> is to collect what you already know, so we don't have to duplicate the existing work that people have already done. Um, yeah. So, uh, with timing too, I think um, because of the difference, if Amber, if we want to have a look at from what from what she said, I think there are time twelve p.m. Mm-hmm. Where she's mostly um, available around twelve, to, like between twelve going, and that will be like um, I think four o'clock five there about for us okay uh, so, yeah yeah so if that will be so for you, we can try to schedule all the, um, the 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 rest of the meetings around that time okay so um, yeah i mean uh, uh, you can um, we should structure it so that at least we know that like what we started with every two weeks um, on Friday and stuff. If it's like fixed like that, it will be more um, helpful than just put, always like putting a pool together to know, at least if people know that um, there, there will be a meeting or there's going to be a meeting on Friday or maybe this particular day at the end of this month or every two weeks, unless it will help us to plan. Otherwise, mm-hmm. the timing, Okay, so do you do you want to take care of that yeah, I can scheduling that. aspect? Yeah, I can. Then do I will just okay. So I'll just assign it to me. Okay. Then um, the other to do is to just um look for literature that talks about um, um, that sort of, you know, gives us a glimpse or an insight into um, the situation on Wikimedia Commons. Um, So that would be the to do for our next meeting. Um, I will add it to the next. Other than that, I think it should be a fairly short meeting. Mm-hmm. Um, has anyone got any questions like with regards to the research in general? Okay, um, and for funding, mm-hmm. can you hear me? Yes. Okay, if there's going to be funding, what Exactly, are we going to be using the funds for? 
Yeah, so that is something I don't know yet. Um, if we need funding, um, I, I think, basically, I think we need funding, but um, it should be for the labor, the, the, the amount of time people will spend on the research. Yeah, we will need funding, of course, uh, but if there's any other thing that may be required. Otherwise, people should be compensated for their time and involvement with this project. If it's going to be coming from art and film, how do we put them together? Do we just put a proposal or type it and send to them? Or like you can stand on our behalf? And... Yeah, so um, I was thinking about um, an outcome of this, you know, process where we need funding to actually do something around. But funding with regards to labor, it it might be possible. I'm not sure. Um, but we could. I can ask and then see um, if that is possible. Um, if it's if it's going to be possible, then we would need like you know just to put something on paper. Um, and then, um, yeah, we can run off with that. So I will, I will find out and see. We have a meeting today. I will check with the team and see how feasible that is going to be. Mm. Well, I think it, it will help um, because we, we, we are not many. And if there's something to take care of people, their data or not even their time, just data. Yeah. yeah. Some data allowance, yeah. Okay. So I'll check. Just add that as well. So let me take that up and then see. Okay, any more questions? Rashid, um, Awa, do you have any question with regards to the project? Hello. 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 Yeah, Rashid. Uh, please, uh, I think that this one, this one specifically is going to be an, under uh, Wikimedia Commons law. Yeah. Yes, Wikimedia Commons specifically. Uh -huh. So <clears throat> in that case, my, uh, that, uh, for us to look for the literature that you are, you are, you are seeking from us, uh, that means that we have to go to the net and then we, we, we look at the gap in terms of uh, gender and then culture. Yeah, so Is that correct? basically, mm -hmm. yes. So basically, just you know, going online and seeing if we can find something around papers or publications that talk about the, um, the what do you call it, um, the imbalances with regards to gender and culture that exists in Wikimedia Commons. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, if, if there should be something, but I am not aware of any extensive research that has dealt with this matter before, but mm -hmm. we would find something that can you know, help us take off from some point. So if you need more information about like the very fundamental Fundamentals of the project. I've just added a link to the document that we are we have here. So, and also, you know, we know that these imbalances exist. I mean, it's just obvious, but <laughs> we still have to be able to prove it in some kind of experiment. I don't know if any of you, you know, is comfortable with the um, design of experiments even in the slightest way, 
you know, just uh, if not, that's totally fine. Um, I think I have some grounding in that area as well. So I'm just curious. <laughs> Design experiment you are talking about, but is it the, um, how do I put it? After the, after the research, like um, putting the, like analyzing the data or the outcome of the research, is that what you are talking about? Yeah, so like the metrics, basically, you know, how to, so basically, how do we even begin to determine, uh, how do we begin to determine uh, um, how wide these imbalances are on the commons? Are we going to, to, for example, again, I don't want to unnecessarily bias the group, but um, one way is to is to um, sample, let's say, 10,000 images mm. on Wikimedia Commons, and then see how we can break, see how we can categorize them into, you know, various groups, mm. and then look at them, uh, randomly select again from the initial sample that we had, and examine them together, you know, uh, in some shape or form to see what they're actually talking about, like what the images are actually describing. Are they describing concepts from the global south or concepts from the... Do they have descriptions that people can easily find that makes sense to them that they can relate to and know that these are coming, how I many these are images related to Ghana, for example, or images related to some place in the United States. So just finding a way to, to experiment. Um, also, um, like I said, it's very obvious that this, these uh, these hello 